This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to look at the ratios of lengths and areas for similar figures. In our first section, we're going to look at the proportion that we're going to use in a special setup that's necessary. And then the following two sections, we're going to look at examples, one with a triangle, one with a circle. Let's get started. So we're going to be working with two figures that are similar. Okay, what does that mean? Um, similar figures in mathematics have special definition. And um, visually, to understand it, I'll put the textbook definition right there. But um, to understand what the visual nature of two similar figures are, picture um, taking a two-dimensional object, shrinking it like you would a, a photo, or like a photograph. If you were to shrink that photo down, into another picture, the picture would still look the same, except um, the ratio of distances would be the same. Okay, so you're in the world of math, we say that the proportionality is the same between the two figures. Okay, so the special relationship that exists between two similar figures with areas and lengths is the one that I have up there in the top left. And I want to show you how to use that with the two sections that follow this one. And um, just as a little uh, graphic organizer, you see in the top right there, I have um, uh, a little bit of a reminder that uh, area is really just the measurement of how many unit squares are in a figure. And when we say squares in algebra, we re you know, refer to the power two. And so that's why when you look at that special proportion I have up there in the top left, you see the square. Okay, so if we were doing this problem with volumes, you'd have unit cubes and then we'd have power three. Okay, so that's how you're not supposed to confuse what we're doing here with areas, squares, with volumes, cubes. All right, now that we have that kind of setup, uh, let's see some examples and see how this all works mathematically. Let's go to the next section. So I left the special relationship in the upper right hand corner as I did the graphic organizer. They're kind of helpful when we do these problems. So I also have a problem in the top left of the screen. We can see two uh, triangles and they're similar because one is the shrunken version of the other, um, just like two photos. Well, let's try to figure out what the area of the smaller figure is. Well, if you use this relationship here, we know that we could take the ratio of their lengths, and uh, I always like to set this up as uh, put the small number on top, right? Small length over the corresponding large length. So I'm putting my uh, ratio as small to big. Okay, now I know that if I take this ratio of lengths and I square it, I'm going to get the ratio of the areas. So if I reduce this, this is 7 ninths. If I square this, I get 49 80 firsts. All right, so I now know the ratio of the areas is 49 over 81. And what am I going to do? I'm now going to figure out where do I put the 225 in this proportion? Well, notice the 225 is the larger triangle. So I'm going to put that alongside the larger of the two numbers. So now I can figure out the small area. So I take 49 times 225, and that's got to be equal to 81 times A. That's how you solve a proportion, you cross multiply. Okay, now how do you solve for A? Well, let's see, to get rid of this multiplication by 81, you divide both sides by 81. Now remember, this is a time sign, not a decimal point. So I'm multiplying these two guys and then dividing by 81. So I'm going to do that with the calculator, and I'm going to get the area. Now, I did this earlier, and I get 136.1. And, of course, you can see my units here are inches. It's area, so, of course, it's got to be inches squared. And there you go. So I now have the answer to the area of the small triangle. Okay, that's all there is to it. Let's take a look at one more example. All right, so here's our new 
second example. And you can see here we're dealing with two circles, and these two circles are proportional. One's the shrunken version of the other. And uh, I'm going to use this relationship again. I'm going to take the ratio of their lengths. And you can see here for this problem, I have the diameter, which is 4 feet, and another diameter, which is 9 feet. Again, this is my personal preference, but I'm taking small to big. You could easily do the problem as big to small, but I like to do small to big. Uh, all right, so remember, if I take this ratio of lengths and I square it, why square? Because we're dealing with areas, areas you have square units. If I square this, I'm going to get 16 over 81. Okay, so that is now the ratio of their areas. So, hmm, I've got one area, which is 12.6 meters squared. Where do I put it in this proportion? Well, you'll notice that it is the small circle, so I'm going to put it alongside the small number. Okay, to keep the proportionality there. Okay, and so I'm going to find this area. So how do I deal with this problem? Well, I'll put the work over here. So I'm going to take 16 times A. And that's equal to 81 times 12.6. How do I get rid of the 16? I divide both sides by 16. All right, so I throw this in a calculator. Of course, I've done earlier, I've done my homework, and it turns out that my large area Okay, there you have it. There's the area of my large circle. All right, so please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, I'd like you to go back to mathguide.com. I'd like you to view other lessons, uh, other interactive quizzes and instructional videos. Take care, until next time.